all my YouTubians, I, and the Wolfpack, and Luna wanted to come up and say hi before we got started, you know, uh, because she likes to say hi to everybody, because she wants to be the star, you know, which is fine. Right? Is that right? You want to be a star? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. You can be the star. Go ahead. What do you got to say? She says, hello, everybody. That's what she says. Okay. Can I go do my job now? Yeah? You're going to play dead? But the people on TV are going to see you, and they're going to wonder, what did you do to her? Yeah. yeah see, that's better. There. Okay. There you go. All right, everybody. How are you doing today? Welcome to So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator, 2021, Episode 2. Huh? Now, the last episode I said I was going to be talking about uh, the things that I bring every time when I go on um, investigation or I go to do a house, uh, well, the actual work that I do and stuff. Uh, however, um, I did get a couple of new things that, I'm, that I've started taking with me, which is really cool. Uh, that I will show you in a second. Just let me get this squared, squared away here. Now, uh, somebody was saying uh, earlier on some other th uh, forum or whatever. Um, uh, I don't know how many times I got to tell you people this. Demons are not afraid of sage. <laughs> no shit. <coughs> Demons aren't afraid of sage. Of course they're not. And they're not afraid of crosses. And they're not afraid of Bibles. And they're not afraid of pretty much anything like that. Because all these things, incense, you know, you'll see different churches use incense. All these things are just tools. Okay, of course they're not afraid of it. What they are afraid of is your intention, the love, the uh, simple fact that you're not going to put up with their crap and that they're not allowed, the faith, the belief in what you're doing, and the belief in, in, in what you're representing. You know, um, everything that you use in the paranormal and everything that you use in any, in 90% in, in of uh, religious. Um, thing are tools. They are representations of your intention to make it a physical intention. You see? Um, the faith and, and everything else is what drives the tool. Okay? So, let's let's just clarify that um, no, uh, they're not afraid of sage or Bibles or, or, or uh, crosses or elm leaves or anything. Sandalwood, uh, nothing. But they are afraid of the intention. They are afraid of the faith. They're afraid of the belief. They're afraid of the um, assuredness. They're afraid of the command that comes with it. Okay? So let's just nip that in the butt. All right. Now, so when you go out and you do you do your investigation, you've got to bring things okay that you believe in that you have faith in that are holy using the word holy to you okay doesn't make a tinkler's damn if someone else thinks it's holy or not it doesn't make a tinkler's damn if other people uh, uh, don't have faith in it because what matters is your faith your belief your structure what you have it represent for you. That's what makes it, that's what gives it the power. That's what gives it the strength, okay? Uh, one thing that I bring with me is my Archangel medallion, okay? It's got all the Archangels on there. So that's one thing that I, I bring with me um, because it, it gives me comfort, you know? Uh, another thing I brought uh, I always bring with me is this crucifix that my son gave me with love and, and stuff and it's got the power of his love and his light you know and the power of what I believe in uh, is all inter intertwined in that uh, and 
entire thing I got is from my dear Shelly at Thunder Bay Paranormal. She makes all kinds of good stuff, and this is one of them. She made me a shaman stone, a dream stone, see? And this is something that, that I hold sacred, you know, this is a sacred thing for me. So, I won't go on an investigation or, or to a house blessing or anything if I don't have that. My latest wonderful gift from Shelly is this white wolf pendant. Which obviously is my totem and everything else and, and my structure of life and everything's around this this thing. And uh, because it was given with love from the family, um, yeah, I mean, this is very special to me. And, and this has become um, uh, one of my one of my major uh, items, you know, uh, that I use. And also, I always have, of course, my gopher bite. Okay, this repels just about everything. Uh, and I did say, uh, for some people out there, they're gonna go gopher bite. You mean gopher or gopher? Uh, uh, no, I don't. That's a totally different bike. <laughs> uh, a coffer bike, a gopher bike, and a gopher bike are three different items, okay? <laughs> this is a gopher bike, okay? Um, and it, it is used for, for protection, plain and simple. And uh, it is by far, in my opinion, the strongest bike that you can, you can possibly have, uh, in my opinion, okay? Um, the coffer bag, it's close. I mean, it's up there. The the, the gopher bag is also close. Okay, uh, but the gopher bag for me is is what I consider the um, strongest. Okay, but that's just my opinion. Okay, it's it's not a it's not really a debate or anything. It's just my opinion that that is um, the best. I also carry with me. Um, I go to a jar, and it's got everything that you could possibly think of in here. Um, everything from bull rush to, to uh, graveyard dirt to crossroads dirt to everything. So that I can, in, in, a, in a pinch, if someone happens to be um, oppressed or, you know, something bad happens... You know, same if I go to a house walkthrough or a blessing, I always bring this just in case on the spot something happens that I wasn't expecting. That I can I can mix up what I need um, to do the job at hand, right? So, I mean, I, I suggest you do that too. Uh, bring sage or holy water, um, anointing oil. Uh, again, Shelly makes the best anointing oil so far on the planet. Um, <laughs> That might be giving her work. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, get get the things that you feel are gonna protect you and your crew if you have a crew. Okay. Um, now I don't have to worry about a crew, which is which is good. Of course, I'll go out with Shelly and and uh, Brayden and Kim and stuff. If they want to go out. I'm uh, more than happy to go with other people. Uh, but I'm only responsible right now for me, which is kind of cool. I don't have to worry about other people. Um, so, again, make sure you bring enough stuff to protect you and, and to protect the people that are with you because you don't, you don't want to leave them unprotected, even if they don't believe uh, in, in your protection, right? You believe in it, and that will protect them. So, you see how that works? Okay, so, yeah, this, this uh, is a short one uh, because I, I said that I would show you what I bring with me uh, when I go on these things and these are basically the other than you know your obviously your tools you know like my my spirit rods and my raptor box and stuff like that um, these are things that I bring for protection okay so I hope that helps you in a little way I hope I hope it makes sense to you uh, but by all means make sure please um, that you bring your own protection and in the only thing that, that matters here, okay, is that it is what you believe in, okay? You have to believe in your protection. If you believe in your protection, that's all that matters, 
that's what's going to give it the strength and the power to protect you, okay? Because your faith is going to supercharge your items, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Uh, blessings to all. And remember now, respect one another, okay? Always be true. Always put up your good evidence. And support and help other paranormal investigators and, and teams. And if, if they're not your cup of tea, then just zip it and lip it, right? Say nothing, do nothing, just do your own thing, right? Uh, no poking the bear, okay? All right, everybody, uh, let's keep going, right? Let's keep getting evidence, let's keep sharing our evidence so that we can all learn and we can all grow, okay? And like I say, uh, just to confirm, uh, because of a couple comments I got, whenever I do these, these are what I do. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay, you can do whatever you want to do. It's none of my business. This is what I do, and I'm happy and willing to share with everyone. And whoever wants to use this information, please feel free. You have my blessings, and I'm honored if you do. Uh, if you don't like it and you don't want to, that's fine. Keep it to yourself. You don't have to. You don't have to tell me. You know, it doesn't matter. You can if you want to, but um, I'm not telling you this is how you should be. I'm telling you, this is how I am, right? Feel free to adopt anything that I that I do. That's why I put it up here, is to share what I believe and what I feel and what I do, so that if you wish, you're more than welcome to use the same things that I do, okay? But you certainly don't have to, okay? Certainly not. That's, you know, that would be uh, just a little bit um, nuts, right? Okay? Uh, I'm not that... I'm not that way, you know, I, I love to share with my family, my YouTubians, my Wolfpack, and that's what I do, um, but nobody has to do anything that I do, this is just what I do, and you're more than welcome to to, to uh, adopt it and adapt it to your own way of doing things, if you so wish, alright, okay, blessings, love, and respect to all, talk to you soon, bye-bye.